So, I mean, one of the biggest opportunities I see in Australia is, is not the lost generation, it's the Chinese generation. And, and nothing is more obvious than when you just walk the, the streets of Burke Street in Melbourne or our George Street in Sydney and you recognise so many Asian faces, and most of which are from China. Uh, I mean, in our experience, uh, even working with, say, the Australian Football League and launching the official Chinese AFL site, it was remarkable to see how many Chinese were frequenting the website from Australia. Well, albeit we're marketing to a local domestic Chinese audience. Qu incredible number of Chinese starved of any content and, and exposure from Australian companies. About a 15% market share coming from Australia to the Chinese website. And they're not, they're not white Anglo-Australians frequenting this website. The Chinese, China, Chinese descent, speaking Chinese, reading Chinese, living in Australia. Same thing with American Airlines with the travel portal that we run. 6% of traffic, all from, all from the United States. And so I asked the question to the marketer in Australia, for every dollar you spend to the Australian public, how much reflects the true demographic of that Australian audience? Or more importantly, how, many re how much of that money reflects the Chinese audience? How much is marketed through Sina's Weibo, Renren, Kaixing, and these other Chinese, hugely popular Chinese porters? So to put it simply, marketing budgets should reflect the people you're selling to. And for every 100 people living in Melbourne and Sydney, there's about 20 of those people who are Chinese, or at least from Chinese descent. I mean, with the Australian Football League official Chinese website, there was 15% traffic coming from coming from Australia. Mostly the key cities of Melbourne, Sydney, maybe Brisbane, partly Adelaide. So every marketer must ask himself, how much have they really shifted their marketing dollars to support the real fabric of the Australian culture, which includes China and Chinese people? They're about 20% of those capital cities, especially Melbourne and Sydney. So anyone has anyone with any sort of marketing now, if you're selling to a local domestic market in Australia, the dollars you spend should reflect that market. So I would expect at least 20% of those dollars going towards the Chinese consumer. It's as simple as that.